Hi, I'm Brett Parker, multimedia specialist for Packaging Strategies magazine. Today we're highlighting Restaurant Wear, a food service supply company that creates products emphasizing sustainability and green ingenuity. Here to discuss this is Jamil Bouchereb, CEO of Restaurant Wear. Jamil, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Can you please explain the initial inspiration behind the launching of Restaurant Wear? Well, I, I come from a deep family background of uh, being in the restaurant business. And, you know, I've worked every position in the restaurant and watching my family um, own their own business and experiencing how food can bring people together. Uh, it was a natural path for me to find something in this world to to continue that on. Um I chose something outside of the, the restaurant business to continue on with, but but it is parallel. Um, when I chose to start a company in food in the food service industry, I wanted to sell products that I knew my customers would be proud of. And we always looked for um, both stylistic and eco-friendly solutions on, on, on which to help the industry with. And, uh, you know, in a roundabout way that led us to our main mission, which is prioritizing sustainability and, and further innovation of that model into our product portfolio. Ah. Um, you know, and then, you know, the restaurants and all of our folks and customers get the added benefit, you know, of, of knowing that their environmental impact will be lower um, on average than their, than their peers uh, by using our product. Can you describe specifically how your products exude sustainability ideals? Well, at Restaurant Where we offer a wide range of food service products manufactured from eco-friendly and rapidly renewable materials to minimize greenhouse gas emissions and conserve resources. Just as an example, we make lots of products from bamboo and bamboo paper, and bamboo can regenerate up to a rate of three feet per day. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing overall. Um, we make, um, you know, drink it draws made out of hay and containers made out of sugar cane and all types of uh, interesting byproducts that, you know, just help upcycle a lot of wasted product from other processes. We support food service operators by offering sustainable alternatives to traditional use single plastics, non-biodegradable materials, since 2020, we've delivered over 6.6 .6 million eco-friendly straws made from paper, hay, you know, polylactic acid, plastic, which is fully compostable. We've, you know, at this point in time, probably well north of a, a billion plates um, and some sort of uh, eco-friendly alternative, whether it's palm or bamboo or sugar cane or something of the sort. So the numbers start to become really large and meaningful in terms of overall impact to, to the, to the uh, supply chain of waste. How do you feel going green could increase a restaurant's bottom line? Simply put, 60% of all restaurant consumers want to know that restaurants and their food establishments that they're, that they're heading to are, um, using sustainable practices in-house, right? That's why people look for this signage or or the indication that they're using, you know, sustainable materials. It, it just, you know, while having a cost has a great marketing impact directly to the customers. And, you know, the biggest mistake, you know, any restaurant can make is not advertising that, right? Because it can, it can, create a bond between the customer and the establishment, which can bring customers back. Do you feel food service operators are expected to take a piecemeal approach to sustainable packaging, or is it possible for them to take a more holistic approach to going green? You know, um, I think for anybody, right, tiptoeing in is, is the right move, but you can do it in a very impactful way just by figuring out where 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 the where the largest impact can be made, right? I mean, obviously, food waste is huge, right? It can be composted, 
Um, things like takeout supplies can easily be augmented in, in, in a way that can have a, a major effect, right? If you think about just um, changing your, your uh, disposable cutlery from a plastic to a, a wood or something like that, right? Um, significant, right? We all have lots of plastic uh, disposable cutlery in our drawers at home that goes, uh, you know, wasted or unused or often in the trash. So there are, there are key ways um, that you can have a significant impact with, with little effort um, in terms of the restaurant. What are some of the most significant developments in sustainable food service packaging you've noticed over the past several years? The advent, the advent of new substrates being used, it's, it's moving very fast. Um, you know, and getting these new substrates online. So folks like ourselves and companies uh, and competitors can can put them into play in a commercially viable way. Um, marine degradability through the use of um, PHA and other other different types of materials is, is has been really big, right? Um, many counties and municipalities are now focused on asking uh, local operators to be more strict and use these types of materials, just knowing that, you know, as careful as they can be, uh, uh, quite, a, quite a bit of it is going to go end up, you know, uh, where, where it's not supposed to. Uh, I read a statistic recently, said something like a million marine birds are actually um, killed every year by, by plastic, right? That's obviously very sad and, and, and a, you know, a huge statistic that, that probably proliferates out much farther with with many different animal sets, right? So we do need to do um, something, you know, for, for that. Uh, there's more and more composting facilities coming online around the country. There needs to be a greater effort put into that, probably some more subsidization from, from the government, federal government to try and push that further. Going into the future, are there still green goals you feel restaurant wear still needs to achieve? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we're working very hard to continue to, uh, you know, uh, grow our own top line in these efforts. You know, we've had major growth in these substrates that I've been talking about uh, the past uh, question. You know, just palm leaf table wear in general has grown 245 percent in the last two years, right? So there is a movement, right? Some of it based on our marketing and some of it based on the overall need and 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 you know the the changing of sentiment among among the operator. Um, you know, we we continue to always be analyzing and and working very hard with our R and D team and other folks and our partner factories to to try and develop new products that can help operators meet their goals. So it's 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 a constant challenge. Um, a very good effort that we we have going on now is uh, we have something called SIOC, which is ship and own container, which we try to reduce lots and lots of corrugated waste where we we find the customer appreciates I can take, let's say, a scuffed up or bruised box, right? As opposed to coming in an outer box, it just gets thrown in the trash and creating tons of, tons of, uh, you know, um, extra waste, right? So, so it's been a good partnership between the client and the, and the, uh, the distributor, which is us. Great. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Jamil Boucher of Restaurant Wear, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And thank you all for watching.